Hello, my name is Winifred Onwadi Chekubechiku and I am a sixth year medical student. Um, the reason I chose to study medicine is because of my passion for helping people and for being an uh, assistant to my community. Um, the reason I'm in Ternopil was due to my agent that helped me come to Ukraine. He chose Ternopil, but I chose to stay in Ternopil because of the environment and it is very warm and um, welcoming. It's a very welcoming environment, so I chose to stay in Ternopil. I love Ukraine so much, yes. It has um, helped me as a person. Coming here has exposed me to a lot of cultures and diversity in people and for some reason, I feel very much at home here. I feel the people are warm. Some people can be a bit different, but generally, I think all people in Ukraine are very friendly and very warm-hearted. And um, good food, yes. You have good food in Ukraine as well. Um, winter is not so good, but we love the beauty of the snow, so yes. I love Ukrainian sausages and uh, borscht. I eat bush, chicken bush, the one that has chicken meat. Yes, I love bush. <laughs> vice President currently of African Student Union, and I was previously Vice President of Nigerian Student Union. When I first started, it was it was quite nervous. It was never racking for me because like it's a big job, big position, and I have to like be in charge of all Nigerian students in my city, like be a representative for the students, like a spokesman to the dean's office and relay information from dean's office to my students and to make sure everybody's acting accordingly. And you know, different people with different upbringings and it's difficult to control people. So I was nervous and it was a bit difficult starting, but as time went on, I had good teammates to work with and it was great. It was a great experience for me. I learned a lot how to work with people. I became more mature in my mindset of seeing people and um, how to manage my time, yes, under pressure, to work under pressure, yes. It also helped me. So right now, it's also, um, it's much more better because, yes, I have more experience and, yeah. So far, it has been a good experience. It has been more of good experiences for me than stress. It's been stressful, but I've been enjoying it so far. The journey has been good, so. I'd say it comes naturally. <laughs> okay, how I started making hair. I've always loved making hair. And like I said, coming to Ukraine brought out a lot of things in me. And it helped me realize that I actually can start doing this for a lot of people. Because I did for like a few of my friends and they were like, this is really good, you should do for other people. And well, I just enjoy doing it. And Ukraine helped me to harness this talent. I was able to work because the school syllabus is very good for students, allows you to do social activities and school activities. It gives you room to find yourself. So during this period, I was able to like practice with different hairs, different people. And right now I just do it on a large scale. I do it as a side business while I study. So yeah, that's how I started making hair and making ladies beautiful. <laughs> So, yes, I have a YouTube channel, so I'm into like, I love to speak in public, I love to anchor events, and I love to like motivate people. So basically, these are the things I like, I feel I have a lot of passion for. Because I love to see people around me grow, because I believe um, when I'm growing and everybody is growing, everybody's happy. Like, you're doing well, I'm doing well, we're happy. But if you're not doing well, I'm doing well, you will not be happy. Not because I'm, I'm doing well and you're not doing well, but you're just not happy with your state. And I love to see everybody being happy, being cheerful. So I, I'll do anything to help people around me to stay happy, stay motivated. And as I'm climbing up the ladder, everybody's climbing. Also, as they are climbing, they are also teaching me how to climb. I just love people to be together and grow together. That is why I love to motivate people. Um, it depends on the person I meet. It all depends on how I feel I can add to your life. If you are into fashion, I can give you ideas, tell you to do it. Like if you're feeling like, oh, you want to procrastinate and you want to do it tomorrow, I, I don't let you think about it. I'm like, do it now. And if I can assist you with my time, with my money, with my energy, whatever I can use to add to you. And also like 
I give like motivational speech to like younger students and like they're getting tired, med school is stressful and maybe relationship advice and like different type of things basically. I just talk to people because I have so much in me and I just feel like giving out this goodness to the world, like giving out this positive energy to the world will help a lot of people be positive and grow positively, like basically. So we need a lot of positivity in this world. <laughs> Definitely, it's always, it's always a thing of joy when people come back to me and say, oh, okay, remember this idea you told me about? I did it and it's great and I'm so happy and it gives me so much joy and I want to keep talking to people and I want to keep helping people. It's, yeah, like maybe academics, like someone cannot study and it's like, I'm feeling tired. I'm like, we're all students too, but you have to do this because the future is bright and the future starts from now. And they write this exam, they pass and they tell me, and I'm like, I'm so happy, I'm so elated, like keep doing the good job. And I just want to keep helping people. Yes, so, so many feedbacks I get, I see it, sometimes they don't tell me, sometimes I just see and I'm like, I'm happy, you're going well, you're doing right, and I'm happy. My advice to every student is, remember why you started. It is easy to forget, it is easy to lose focus along the line, but remember why you started. The stress can be draining, the stress can make you just want to give up on it. The f lack of motivation, like maybe you're studying for a particular subject and it's not working out and you think it's not for you, just keep pushing it, keep going. Get yourself around people that are positive and are going in the same direction. And trust me, the sky is your limit. For students in Ukraine, in TDMU, the school is not your enemy, <laughs> honestly. Um, really, I'm saying this from the depth of my heart. Try to see positivity in every feedback you're giving in every um, response, rules, um, laws, maybe there is a new instruction from the school and you feel like it's not favoring you as a student and you think, oh, Ukraine as a whole, they don't like us, foreigners, no. Be it foreigners, be it normal students, like everyone is seen as one. I have been in the system long enough to know this. I have worked in, like I've been among the officials of the school long enough to understand that these rules are put in place in favor of students. Even though sometimes it might look like it's against us, but if we go into the system, we actually see that it's actually to our own benefit. So at the end of the day, this school is not against you. TDMU is not against you. Ukraine is not against you. Have that in your mind and you'll be able to forge ahead. You'll be able to move. You wouldn't be seeing everything as an attack against you. See everything as a positive energy and don't stop studying. Because, <laughs> yeah, study is like, TDMU is very strict. Our exams, if you are in first year, second year, third year, you already know. First year, second year, third year, it's actually very stressful. So study, study, study as much as possible. And also socialize. Socialize is very important. We only have this period of time in our life. Yes, you can only be a university student this once. After now, it's either master's, PhD or whatever. You are now a, an adult. You have to be responsible for things and all that. But now, enjoy your time here. Go for social events. Hang out with friends. Just make the best out of your time here. Yeah, that's my advice for you guys.